Hey there folks, Lenny Rudo here for Fish Talk Magazine. You know, I get asked this question all the time, all the time. So we decided to address it today in this video. The question is, what size jig head should I choose when I'm trying to catch some rockfish? And the answer is multiple sizes. But how do you know which to use and when? Let's check it out. What I got right here on the end of my line, this is a BKD jig head. This is a three quarter ounce and it's sort of an intermediate size. It's good for fishing, you know, 10, 12 feet of water, something like that, when you want to feel bottom. And that, people, is the key to choosing jig head size. You've got to be able to feel bottom. In most situations, if you want to know exactly where that jig is, you might be using the count out method on suspended fish. You might be trying to bounce a long bottom to get fish that are hugging on structure. Either way, if you can't feel bottom, tick down with that jig head, generally that means go a little bigger. Now, what are some different sizes? a sandbar jig head. You can get these at Anglers. These are uh, pretty slick looking jig heads and this is a half ounce. This is good for casting up to shorelines, shallow structure, for when fish are really right up top, very, very shallow. You're not going to want to try and find bottom in 10 feet of water with that. It's a stretch. Now at the other end of the spectrum, you get a little heavier than that three quarter ounce that I had on my rod there. You have an ounce. That's going to help you tick bottom in like, you know, 20 feet of water. Uh, once you get beyond that, you're going to want to go bigger ounce and a half. You might even want two ounces. It all depends on how much wind there is, how much current there is. But remember, remember, you want to be able to feel bottom. But there's more. You ready for this? I love this. This is so cool. Oh my, oh my, look at this. This is what I call a jig selection, Mike. Definitely. And, and what kind are these right here? Those are all GI jigs. I got half to five eighths in different various colors, as you can see. Wow, those things are beautiful. Now, let me ask you something. Aside from weight, now we are—we already talked about this, of course, folks. You know, so I know, you know, Mike and I are on the same page with choosing your jig head by weight. But other than that, are there any other factors you like to take into consideration? Color, color, color. contrast this is my go-to. Always want to have a color contrast between your bait and your head. I'm on the same page once again. Color contrast is a good thing. So, I might grab this head if I had, say, a black tail or purple in really low light, or if I had a white tail I might grab one like this here so we get some color contrast going that is always a good bet Well, folks, I hope that helps you figure out exactly what size jig head to tie on next time. But it probably won't. You're probably going to have to make a cast, wait for that jig to touch down, and feel it. You've got to feel that, I think there it is, on bottom. And then I can work it along, and I know I'm using at least about the right size. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Don't miss another cool fish talk video. Click below to subscribe.